Hi guys, this is Igor from Vinus Reverie Wine Merchant here. And first of all, I want to tell everybody, I hope you guys have a nice holiday season. Uh, and it's time for the December Wine Club selections. Uh, but before I get to that, you know, if you guys are still looking for gifts, remember I think wine will make a great gift uh, for anybody uh, who likes wine. Uh, or something else that you could uh, do is a wine club membership. Um, I, I offer three and six months membership. So if you guys want to give that as a gift, uh, I have it on my website. You can guys reach out to me and ask more about it. All right, thank you guys. Okay, let's get to the selections. All right, so first we'll start with the Adventurers Club and the white wines in it. Uh, the first white wine uh, for those in the white wine selections is from uh, Altos Los Hormigos. It's a group of friends who started the winery in Argentina, in the Mendoza region in the mid 90s. Uh, there's a winemaker from the uh, Antoniori family, the famous Italian winemakers, and, and uh, local winemakers from uh, uh, Argentina. Uh, and uh, they kind of want to uh, create, uh, put Mendoza on a map, kind of the same way that Burgundy is on the map, with a lot of um, terroir based wines. So, terroir, the, you know, the idea that soil uh, is really a big component of what makes wine great. Uh, and for uh, and recently they hired uh, Pedro Parra, who's a PhD in terroir. This is a gentleman, a Chilean uh, winemaker consultant, uh, who specializes in uh, uh, soil. So what they did is they went through different uh, valleys within Mendoza and they uh, uh, dug up like 1500 soil pits looking for different uh, soil combinations that are ideal for different combination of grapes. And that's how they came up with, with this blend, the, the Blanco. It's a blend of three grapes, um, Semillon, Chenin Blanc, and Pedro Jimenez. So this is a beautiful wine, full of kind of like, you know, pineapples, peaches, but Pedro Jimenez grape brings a little herbal refreshment to the blend. Uh, Tim Eki, who's a master of wine, uh, he gave this wine 91 points. It, it, this was, a wine was actually his uh, number one white wine value wine of the year. Uh, so it's a really fun wine, great representation of Mendoza, uh, and I think you guys will enjoy this wine. All right, next wine we'll have is from uh, Ferrara, which is uh, a uh, winery out of the Campania region in southern uh, Italy. So Campania, uh, the most famous city in that region is Naples. Uh, and uh, this grape is Fiano, uh, but it's called Fiano Diavolino. So that's actually a region uh, uh, where only Fiano grapes are grown and the best expression of the Fiano grapes are in that region. Uh, it's on the uh, 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 Lapio sub-region, but it's close to Mount Vesuvia, so it's um, full of volcanic soil. So it's a great minerality uh, to this wine. Uh, but the other uh, really good thing about uh, Fiano Diavolino especially, it's one of the few white wines that you can age actually for a really long time. You know, kind of like Chardonnay, Riesling, Semillon, Chenin Blanc. These are white grapes. They have great acidic structure to them that lets them uh, age beautifully. And, and this wine is full of like yellow fruits and, and, and like I said, great minerality and like a good expressive wine, a great expressive wine. Uh, got a little body to it. Not, not just uh, like, like uh, you know, zippy wine, but it's got some nice structure to, to the wine. I think you guys will really enjoy this wine. Uh, so uh, if you're in the YY club, you will get this wine. And if you're in the mixed selection club, you will get this wine as well. All right, the next wine is Garnacha from the Navarra region, from Vino Zorzal. Uh, so Navarra region is in Northern Spain. Uh, probably the closest uh, big city to it is Pamplona, uh, where they have the running of the bulls. Uh, and this is a, a, a very bright expression of Garnacha. Lighter uh, body, full of bright red fruit, uh, really uh, you know, aromatic, uh, beautiful wine. And uh, Garnacha, it's very similar in Zinfandel in one sense, is that uh, when it's young, uh, it's ideal to blend it with some other grapes. Uh, in Spain, sometimes they blend it with uh, uh, Tempranillo. Obviously, the most famous uh, Grenache. Uh, comes from the Rhone Valley where they blend it with Syrah and Murvedre. Uh, but in this case, uh, a lot of the uh, grapes in this wine are old vine grapes and many of them are over 100 years old. So it's 100% Garnacha, very aromatic, light to medium body, but very expressive wine, great with food. I think because the acidity and the fruitiness of Garnacha really, you know, makes it uh, uh, delicious uh, to eat with food. So, all right, so that's it. also in the mix up as well. All right, and then for the red wine club, you'll get a Garnacha and Alkina Shiraz. 
Uh, so this is a, a really fun uh, uh, wine from Australia. Uh, but here's kind of the other really uh, interesting part to it is that uh, Pedro Parra, the one, the Mendoza uh, uh, PhD in terroir, he actually consulted uh, Alquina State with the soil selections here, and it's a fascinating selection. So first of all, the wine comes from Barossa Valley, probably the most famous wine section in Australia. Uh, but it's um, it's uh, oh, on the land of the Nagaduiri people. Uh, so and Alquina in all uh, that like means moon. So I think that the idea is they want to represent the. Uh, uh, just the earth and everything the earth represents in its most natural state. So you know we're talking about uh, organics, biodynamics, etc., etc. But here when they brought in Petropara, they started looking at the land uh, around it, and there's a lot of combinations. So there's schist. Then there's some parts with schist and clay. Some parts will only be clay, not too much schist. Some parts they have a little bit of iron with clay, but not schist. Some has limestone, so you have all these various combinations that bring different elements to the wine. Uh, so this is 100% Syrah, but it's made from three different sites with different soil combinations. So it's full of you know red, blue, black fruit. You got a tannic structure that kind of parses through the fruit, uh, cuts through, through that fruit. It's got a nice full body, very expressive, bright, delicious, full body. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to say classic. I think. Uh, like a great expression of obsessive uh, uh, Syrah from Australia. All right, so this is the Syrah comes uh, in the Adventurous Club uh, uh, as well. All right, guys, so this is the Adventurous Wines. So let's jump into the high society wines. And we have a classic and a completely unique wine in this selection. So let's start with the classic. This is from uh, Chateau Pedasclau, which is a, a famous uh, uh, Poyak estate. So Poyak, if you guys are not familiar, is probably the most famous site on the left bank of Bordeaux uh, for Cabernet Sauvignon. All the first, all the famous source growth are from that side. Uh, Chateau Lafitte Rothschild, Mouton Rothschild, Latour, uh, maybe second and third growth are also. It's basically the most famous site for Cabernet Sauvignon in the wine world. Uh, so Chateau Pedoscal, it was founded by Pierre Pedoscal and he was actually one of the brokers who organized the uh, uh, classification of 1855. Uh, that's when all the growth were, you know, when uh, uh, the French decided what's the first growth, what's the second growth, third growth, fourth growth, fifth growth, etc. So he was one of the brokers. So uh, the, uh, the wine has uh, passed through many hands since then, but the, it has kept its name. So it's a classic combination, you know, over 60% Cabernet Sauvignon, about 30% Merlot, and a little bit of a Petit Bordeaux and Cabernet Franc. You know, the, uh, uh, the split between, you know, maybe 3% each. Nice, great full-bodied wine. And one of the cool things about it is actually neighbors uh, Chateau Lafitte. So that, that, you know, that's a cool, cool thing about it. And it's a, a, a state that's kind of on the rise. It has a, had a good reputation for decades, but recently, uh, in the hands of the newest owners, you, you know, they put like uh, vineyard management people into that, so now it's becoming better and better wine. In fact, Jeff Dunnick said about this 2018 vintage, that is the best uh, finish of a pedestal that he's ever tasted. So, you know, I think you guys will enjoy it as well. So that's the classic uh, portion of the High Society Club. All right, the second wine, completely unique wine. All right, it's from the Pasaeli Winery in Turkey, and the grape is Karasa Keys. So it's one of the indigenous grapes from the area. So the, the uh, Appalachian, the Aegean, uh, where the actually grapes go for this wine grow, it's very close to the ancient city of Troy. So you know, it goes back in history, uh, this site. So it's a lot of fun. So uh, the, the gentleman who started this winery in the early 2000s, he kind of, he was an importer of wine in Turkey. And he kind of looked at the area and he's like, oh, this is a great climate to grow quality grapes. So uh, this is you know, his example of one of the indigenous varieties. Uh, I thought it was like a really fascinating wine. And if you're looking for wine to pair with Mediterranean food, this is it. Uh, and uh, I noticed that some uh, wine profession professionals, you know, it's an indigenous variety, so they try to compare it to something that is more known. So it's, sometimes it's hard to do. But a lot of wine professionals co compare it to Zinfandel. Uh, you know, very interesting comparison. I think it's got maybe the food structure of Zinfandel. It doesn't definitely have the 
big alcoholic, uh, uh, like you know, Lodi type of Zen character to it. Uh, but it's a beautiful wine. So uh, if you're in a high society club, I think you guys will enjoy these wines. So we have a classic from a uh, Poyak and uh, uh, a completely brand new wine, I think to a lot of people who will be tasting it uh, from Turkey. All right, so it's a fun overview about these wines. Uh, if you guys are looking for gifts, you know, stop by the shop or go to the website at minusrevy.com. And once again, enjoy your holiday season. Thank you guys. Bye.